what is a genius? Genius is defined as exceptional intellectual or creative power or other natural ability. A person who is exceptionally intelligent or creative, either generally or in some particular respect. In the example they give us a musical genius. But I don't agree with this definition that genius is a natural ability. They seem to indicate that it can't be cultivated, it has to be inborn. And I don't accept that at all. I'm an expert in multiple fields at a high professional level of competence. But I don't feel myself to be extraordinarily intelligent. I mean, there were some times in my life when I was highly trained in a particular subject or activity, for example, music. And I could sit down and just sight read anything put in front of me. I felt like a genius <laughs> when I was doing that. But I knew from my own experience, I had trained up to do that over many years of hard, methodical practice. So to me, it didn't seem like anything special. It's just like a person, if you do any kind of weight training or exercise, you start out the first day very light. Then over time, you gradually become stronger and stronger until you can do amazing things that, uh, that blow other people's minds. Huh? But to you, it's normal because why? You do it every time you work out. <laughs> when I started jogging, I could barely get around the track one time. After a while, I was jogging routinely five miles every morning. There was nothing was ordinary because it was something I did every day. So, the same way, if you train how to become a genius in your particular field, whatever it is, even if you're of ordinary intelligence, which by the way, I think everybody is actually of ordinary intelligence, and either you train in the kind of things that IQ tests test for, or you train yourself in other things, like how to be popular in high school, and you miss all the academic stuff, and then you wind up thinking that you're dumb. No, you're not dumb. You just try to apply yourself in the wrong direction, in a temporary thing that doesn't yield any really beneficial results. The nerds in high school actually got more out of it than you did. Why? Because the things they learned benefited them later on when they went to college and in their careers. Becoming popular, you can learn any time. <laughs> Try to understand. We're helping you lay the foundation for success in life, in any field. Becoming a genius in any field. Now let's see, how is that possible? Let's define becoming a genius as follows. Becoming a genius uses concepts derived from the teaching of the Buddha and other spiritual disciplines as well as advanced concepts in science, education, ontology, semantics, software, and systems theory, to master any subject so thoroughly that it results in a permanent change in being, so that whatever you master becomes your spontaneous, natural self-expression. Now, you should look up all the important words in this definition, especially ontology, semantics, systems theory, and like that. But especially you should understand that the thing that gives you mastery as a spontaneous self-expression is being. And being is not just one thing. It's a collection of many things that form a kind of background or a kind of context to your consciousness. And this is name and form in the process of dependent origination. The Buddha called it name and form because in those days they didn't have words like ontology. <laughs> those were invented later by the Greeks, actually. But the Buddha used ontology in his teaching. He used semantics in his teaching. He is a very expert um, wordsmith. And he utilized semantics to create a network of terminology that could explain the changes in consciousness that he was trying to share with people. So the Buddha is the pioneer, actually, in the creation of specific states of consciousness by making a set of terms, a name and form, for those states that actually helps you attain that level of being. So actually we can do that not only for states of consciousness, we can do it for almost anything. 
And that's what this course is all about. The four stages of becoming a genius for any given subject are duplication, making an exact copy of the source, understanding, systems thinking through logic, and that's the stage we're discussing today, analysis, contemplation of abstract relationships, also known as ontology, and metacognition, realization of the new state of being. I'm trying to think of a good example for ontology and how it influences consciousness. Did you ever go to a movie, an action movie, and then Bruce Willis or whoever the action hero is is doing all these incredible feats and uh, beating all these guys up or whatever? And you walk out of that movie feeling like, yeah, <laughs> ready to take on the world. Are we really? <laughs> Probably not. But you feel that way. Because watching 90 minutes or two hours of Bruce Willis surviving the most incredibly dangerous situations gives you the confidence that, hey, maybe I can do that too. What is that? That's name and form creating consciousness or gaining consciousness in such a way that you feel you could actually duplicate some of those crazy stunts. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> you probably can't. But it makes you feel like you could. And actually you could if you train for it. Anybody could. If you have the time, the energy, and the facility for that kind of training. That's really the difference between you and Bruce Willis or an actor or you and a great musician or a great anything. Simply methodical training. 